Hi there, Leif here from iTech Office Technology. Today I'm going to show you how to program shortcuts on the home screen of your Konik Minolta Visa. So to uh, program these uh, shortcuts on the home screen, you can see, I'll just explain uh, what these uh, shortcuts are, and you can see that uh, there's a few shortcuts already programmed on this screen, and there's like one vacant spot in there, uh, that doesn't have anything at the moment. Uh, standard on the machine you'd probably see these copy, scan, fax and user box and the utility button and uh, the rest of the screen is blank and um, so the blank space can be used for extra shortcuts to be programmed onto it. So if I, I'll just go to the home screen again to modify any of this, we've got to go into Utility. We've got to go into the Admin Settings. I'll type in the Admin Password, which is 1328 twice in most cases. So, select OK on that. We're going to go to option number 1, System Settings. We're then going to go to page 3 out of 3. So you see it's 1 out of 3 at the moment, so I'll hit Forward twice. To go to page 3 out of 3. We're going to go to number 4, custom display settings. And I'm going to select number 1, main menu default settings. And if you have a look in here, these are all the shortcuts that we can uh, program. And you'll see the, the blank one on the home screen from before. You can see that's main menu key number 6 here. It says do not use at the moment and you can see all the other ones on this page they have already been labeled and programmed and also you can see on the top right here this is page one out of four so you can see if I scroll down through those you can see that I've actually got up to 23 different keys that I can program and you can see that several of them which is basically on page two on the home menu is not in use at the moment so Let's go back to page one and I'll show you why. So I guess you'd ask why would you make these shortcuts? And if I go into main menu number six, the one that is currently not in use, I'll select that one and we get a menu up here where I can say that I'm going to turn this shortcut on. And when I, after I've turned it on, all these buttons uh, light up and these are all the options we've got that we can program onto this shortcut key so I'll go through them if you click on the first one these are the basic functions so I can make a shortcut to any of those that's not necessary in this in this case because all these buttons already have a shortcut on the screen so I'm just going to cancel that I'm going to go into the copy the copy function settings the next one along and you can see that I could select any of these options to be a shortcut. So if there's one particular copy function you use all the time, rather than go using multiple, multiple steps going into copy screen and select drill down into the menus, you could put it right there on the front screen. The next one we can select would be the scan fax function settings. So again, any of those standard functions that we may use uh, frequently for scanning. I could choose one of those. Uh, I find this one very useful, the copy program and fax scan program. So if I select copy program, you can see that I've already got a few programmed in there. But one good example could be if I um, copy booklets a lot. That's a fair bit of setting up. So I can make that a program and I can put the icon right bang on the front screen as a shortcut. So no matter how complex the job that we need to do is, we can program it once and once it's uh, as a shortcut on the front screen anyone can do it because all you need to do is select the shortcut and press start. So again that was the copy program and the fax scan program and we've got the uh, system user box and you can see there's a few different uh, options in there for you can select the shortcut to any of these uh, built-in uh, user boxes 
I'll just cancel out of there. And the last one, registered application. But there will only be things in there if you have external applications loaded on the system, which is uh, more and more uh, applicable these days as the technology advances and more uh, software becomes available. But uh, for this particular exercise, I'm just going to select on the uh, one from the fax, uh, not the fax scan program, but the scan fax function settings. So you can see the different options that I've got there. And uh, I'm going to select this document name. I'm going to make that, uh, highlight that as a shortcut. Because I find sometimes when we scan, we do want to rename the document that we scan. So rather than going into this uh, scan screen and select the document name and all these things, I'm just going to put it right there as a shortcut on the, on the main screen. So now I'm just going to hit OK and close right out of this menu. And you can see now that I've filled up the gap there with the file name subject uh, scan function. So just to show you how this works, if I press the file name now, you can see that press that and it'll take us directly to the scan screen and open up the area where we can name the scanned document. So I can go right into there. So this is just with one click now from the shortcut. Select the name. I can say give my file name a name. I'll just call it test and OK. Uh, select again uh, one more option where I want to send it and hit start. And I've then uh, made a quicker, easier way to uh, give my scanned document a uh, custom uh, file name. So that's it. That's how we do it.